Good evening, Dan. It is January 22nd, and I think it's time we talked a little bit about Barack Obama. Can I just call him Barack? Is that too impersonal? Okay, I can understand kind of where you're coming from with this whole I have some doubts, I have some fears, because I've been jaded by too many other past politicians because a lot of them come in saying the same things. In fact, there have been some comparisons to some of the stuff that he said during his inauguration speech with some of the things that George Bush said in his and in subsequent speeches. There was somebody on The Daily Show who said, why is it when you melt cheese on Italian food it's delicious, but when you melt it on Chinese it's not? Sometimes people say things and they just don't seem to mean it. And when other people say it, it's a world of difference three cases in point for you. Here we go. The VA services that are out there apparently have been striving over the last few years to get a lot of support. The Bush administration has been paying a lot of lip service to helping out our veterans, but not actually coming through in the clutch. It was only the last two years of his term that the VA was fully funded. And they were saying, hey, we're going to help you out, and then not really doing it. You get shot in the field, you get patched up. You come home with post-traumatic stress disorder, you need somebody to look after you. This all happens while you're in the military to an extent, but once you get home, sometimes Nothing. Nobody's there for you anymore. The Obama administration, while he was still president-elect, before he was even sworn in, called up the VA services and said, hey, who do you want to be in charge of you? Give me 35 names of the people that are going to be on your board of directors, and we're going to do what we can to make this happen for you. Point number two, environmental impact. Now, I know Obama didn't really come out a lot during his campaign and say what he felt about the environment. He kind of left it up in the air, and a lot of people were not that happy with it, would have wished to hear more out of him. Well, he did it. In California, this big convention, environmental leaders, scientists, governors, at least Schwarzenegger was there. The very first thing that they could see is a pre-recorded video of Barack Obama saying, hey, guess what? I think that global warming is a real thing. Our impact on the environment is huge, maybe irreversible. We need to do something about it right now. Now, one of the biggest differences between him and the last administration is that he was putting a big emphasis on scientists and what they've been saying, while the last administration was really saying, scientists don't know what they're saying. We're going to edit these supposedly independent EPA reports when local states and cities tried to pass laws so that they had less of an environmental impact. The Bush administration actually sometimes overturned that kind of stuff. They went in as a federal government and said, no, you can't make that rule. The federal government makes those rules. Even though it was like a local thing. Obama is not doing that. He is saying, we need to take responsibility. The third point. One of the big things that's been talked about a lot is that Obama's planning on closing down Guantanamo Bay, saying well, we haven't been using it the way that human beings should be treating each other. We suspended habeas corpus, we took away people's rights, we've been locking them up without reason, without recourse, they can't even defend themselves. More and more stories are leaking out about the fact that a lot of these people are kind of innocent. That's sort of in a McCarthy-style thing. Somebody pointed at them on the street and said, that person, I think, I think they're a terrorist, lock them up. And guess what? We did. So he's actually issuing an executive order saying, shut down Guantanamo Bay. I think the only thing that's really bad about this is that his executive order could be overturned by himself if he wanted to, by Congress if they get enough votes, definitely by the next president if he decided to. I'm assuming it's going to be another eight years from now, but if that president said, yes, I want to open it up and use it again, he could. Case in point, Herbert Walker Bush, he used Guantanamo to keep Haitians out of the U.S. because they had HIV. Bill Clinton said, let's release the Haitians. He didn't really close Guantanamo the right way, though. Guess what? Baby Bush... He opened it up again, this time to hold terrorists. So here we have Obama, he's closing it down. Let's just hope that he does it the right way and that nobody can use it in an illegal sense ever again. And hopefully people will be penitent there as opposed to just, you know, locked up and abused. So far, this guy is doing stuff. He says he's going to do stuff, and he's doing stuff. So I hope that puts some of your fears aside. And then if nothing else, you can support him. Do what you can to make it so that when he asks for something like a day of service on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, then maybe we can all lend an hour or two. Friends of mine went out and picked up trash on the side of the road. It's helping the environment. It's helping our local community. It's helping the global community. Why did the doll blush? Because she saw the teddy bear